Hi everyone, I'm back. So in my last video from last year, I claimed that I was taking a break and now I'm uh, obviously back. So uh, a new year comes new changes. It's 2018 now and you know, changes gotta happen. So um, I'm here with someone, uh, a friend of mine who agreed to camera, uh, you know, direct my videos. So at least when I'm going somewhere or what I'm doing something, I used to have someone behind the camera, usually almost all the time, to, you know, do the stuff. So, wave hi. Uh, so, uh, today's topic, we're going to be talking about celebrities. And in more particular analysis, we're going to be talking about how celebrities uh, behave and how they sort of plan their future or just are in it for the time to make money. So let's get right into it. My name is Derek Amal and I am proud to be. I'm in another town with my family. And so I found a place where everyone will be. Let's talk discreetly. This is topics with me. So Celebrities, and in particular people that want to make a living off of acting or singing or um, something like that, usually start off pretty innocently or by accident. Uh, for example, Britney Spears, you know, she started at 16. Uh, she had enough money to create an album and she did. Uh, she, her career ended like very quickly, but you know, she's a very popular icon. Um, also, this also comes with the point that most celebrities choose to do something. They don't take it for uh, granted. Anyone that grew up with a, uh, a very slow, poor background uh, like Katy Perry would know if you watched her interview a few years ago about her childhood and stuff. And you would understand why it is important to treasure not only the money, uh, not only the money that you make and uh, spend it uh, wise and everything, but the family that you have, uh, the friends, the people that help you get there, and also the people that support you, uh, just like I do with you guys, YouTubers. Um, keep in mind, I'm in another spot because I feel I realized this when I was filming. And I just wanted to, you know, fill this part out. But I'm just talking about Logan Paul and what he did um, very recently. So just to catch up to speed, you know. He um he went into a play he he took a, a trip to Jap Japan, and uh, he while he stayed there for a few days he decided to why not visit the infamous suicide forest because like every tourist they want to visit the icon of the area. Excuse me, little tiny eighteen. Anyway, um, they went in the forest and they didn't plan for any uh any violence or graphic stuff to happen, but they did find a um a body that had been. Sadly, uh, you know, provoked by, you know, and anyone who's caught showing the video, even if they don't show the graphic or violent content is uh, flagged by YouTube. So I'm, I'm even afraid to just even talk about this, than to even show it. I'm not going to show it, by the way. There's a bunch of them. Just search. So to not face any um, controversy and backlash from you guys. Because I know you guys don't want to talk about this and I'm not going to stand my physical point on, you know, whether I'm a Jakey or a, a Logang or something. I, I don't really know between them. Um, I'm not going to stand on anyone's sides, but I do notice that uh, some YouTubers are actually popular, as popular or at least popular than them. And they still have a larger fan base and are still liked well enough for their uh, content. Like for example, Phase Rug. Uh, this is not sponsored or partnered at all, but uh, Face Rug is an YouTuber that does vlogs and all these kinds of other things. For example, just a few months ago, he did a um, a homeless man, uh, like he, he, I don't know how to explain it, but it's very nice. He helped a homeless man um, sort of regain, uh, you know, confidence into the world and the workforce. He, he, he wasn't like, he, he. The only reason he was out on the streets is because his back was acting up and he couldn't actually get a job uh, because some jobs actually require people 
to have good physical stature and I don't think that's fine I mean they should be a position in every job to do that it's it's nice it's, it's very it's very good I would do that if I had money so so in conclusion I just noticed that when I'm filming with when the, when we're filming with the back camera my voice kind of sounds echoey and I can't fix that in this video but we'll figure out a way to you know fix that uh, to sound more top-notch professional uh, so in conclusion uh, f for this at least part or uh, section that I'm talking about it's it's always good to do the right thing like I know every youtuber new or not just tells you this out of just random timing and it's true because it's it's always the right thing to do something and if you if, if, if there's no possible way that you can do the right thing or if there's a thing that you have to pick between one or the other it's not a bad thing I mean it just drives you to do better and um, choose wisely and just if just I, I don't know how to explain it and I do know how to explain a lot of things but this particular thing I want you guys to take an account just because it benefits you doesn't mean that it benefits you and I know that sounds confusing when something isn't when something oh my goodness when when something I'm gonna explain it here for a minute when something sort of drives you to get to do something that only um, does good for you even if it does good for someone else I mean that would be good if it did something good for someone else but we have guilt if you do something and it only benefits you not any other person and it's a good or a bad thing some people feel guilty about it very very guilty some don't but you know but if it benefits you it's not always gonna benefit you back because one time you're gonna need that person that you never helped or you made angry for no reason or you ditched and then at one point you'll be needing their help so it's always good to be nice to everyone that you meet um, as long as um, you know you don't have any like conflict with them or you don't have any uh, you know thing to that but even if you still have problems with that person at least try every day is a new day and this year is a new year and everyone should be nice so at this last part, I noticed at the beginning of the video that it sounded echoey. And it sounds much better when I'm doing it with the phone this way. So I had my uh, camera, camera crew take a little break. Um, so I, I switched, you know, roles to, to tell you that um, despite of all the internet things that you have, to get in, you have to get involved in, me, myself, I don't try to stress myself with that because me, myself, I get guilty easily and I stress very easily. So um, I always try my best in something that I know even I can't do. And I hope that you guys do the same. Even sometimes something that you like, something that someone doesn't like, you know, or something that it, it gets confusing. But you get my point, don't you? So with that, I hope you guys a wonderful new year. I wish that I wished you uh, one few days before but I mean what are you gonna do really right um, <clears throat> so thank you for taking about 10 minutes of your your life to watch my video I hope you that you subscribe like comment and share um, any one of those will help or all of them I'd be very appreciative please comment I need more video ideas this one was just one out of one that I got so um, please just feel free to drop by in the comment section anyway to me and to my camera crew good bye